Hey there, everybody. I'm joined once again by Steve Sanders, and we have in front of us Lackey, which is a platform where you can play Star Trek CCG online, and we are going to play a game. So we have finished the seed phase, and we are currently uh, basically ready to go. This is my first time ever using this platform, as well as the first time playing this game, which I vaguely understand the rules of. So I'm kind of playing open hand here with Steve. Steve can see my hand. He's played the game before. So we're just doing this for fun to show folks how it works. So we've seeded all of our dilemmas here underneath our missions. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we're just gonna try to hop right in. So uh, I'll post the deck list in the video description so folks can try this out and, and you know, try Lackey out. But otherwise, if you wanna see how this game plays, this is a good example of just sort of how things flow. So yeah. Steve, you're gonna be our MC here because I don't know what I'm sure. doing. <laughs> sure, yeah, and just, uh, I'll just add to what you said that um, uh, these are the starter decks that the players committee, um, the, the continuing committee put together. And I think you and Andy uh, a few weeks ago went through them a little bit. So refer back to that video for more information on those. And if any of you guys want to rem remind how, rem remember or learn how the seed phase works, we also uh, did a video where I did a seed phase a while back. So, all right, without further ado, let's get into this. I'll go ahead and uh, take my first turn um, really quickly and I'll walk through that. And then uh, we'll walk through your first turn. And I think we're probably going to do maybe like, I don't know, four or five turns each. We're probably not going to play a full game because these games can go a bit, a bit long. And I will note that the seed phase did take a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. So that's that mission setup piece. And there's some recommended combos in the, in the PDF guide. But, you know, the setup, which we wanted to, to skip the, the pain of watching you click through us, click through stuff. So this is sort of uh, jumping right into it versus that 20 minute setup phase. Yep. Okay, so I'm playing the Klingon Empire starter deck, um, and we have a starting package of, of two um, incidents on the table here. These are, for those who play Star Wars, a bit like, kind of like effects that help set up your platform um, at the beginning of the game. Um, they're going to give you a few more free plays uh, and free draws. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this uh, card, Continuing Mission, and Basically, it says that once every turn, when I play a next generation personnel, which is one who has Star Trek The Next Generation in the top right corner of the card, whenever I play one of those people with four or fewer red skill dots and no downloads, I can draw an extra card, um, which is nice. Um, and I think a lot of the personnel in both of our decks are going to be um, qualify for that. And then, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to play this Klingon named Larg. Um, he's next generation and he's got four skill dots. So that counts. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a card for free right there. And, um, and, and also this card, attention all hands that I have in play says that once each turn, my universal, meaning um, not unique, and a universal in this game means it has a, a cut-up diamond in front of it, a universal personnel can play for free at your matching outpost. Um, and so that's this guy also was, was universal, so he's going to be a free play. And if you remember from some of our videos before, typically in Star Trek, you only can play one card and draw one card per turn. But these starting cards are going to make the game move a little faster than it did during the decipher cards only era. So this guy's actually be a free play. I'm going to get one more play, which I'm going to do. Um, he's going to be uh, Captain Worf, uh, okay. Klingon version, Klingon uh, affiliation version of Worf. I'm playing him as my normal card play because he's got more than five skill dots, and I like to be, because he's not universal. Is the main reason. So I'm not going to be able to play him for free. So, so red is Klingon, blue mm -hmm. is Federation. What is okay. yellow? Uh, yeah, your yellow ones are are um, uh, non-aligned. Okay. So these are people that can work with any affiliation. Okay. And in Star Trek, you can mix affiliations, but only um, if you have a treaty in play. And these decks are mono affiliation, I believe. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, that's all for me. I'm going to go ahead and just draw a card in my turn. And I'll pass it over to you, uh, Matt. Okay, so I'm not sure what I should. I guess maybe I'm going to mimic your turn. I'm going to play exactly. the guy with mm -hmm. four skill. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is kind of how it works. You drag the card out yep. like this. So I just played him. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and then I can draw a card. Is that he's right? Gonna, yeah, he's going to trigger a card draw because he has four or fewer. So do I hit, this, this is the draw button over here? No, that's your turn order button. Oh. Some people really want to like be very specific. They'll show what phase of the turn you're on. This is the draw um, button. That's your here. draw button right there. Okay. Yeah. So I get to draw another card. Right. And then what should I do from here? <laughs> yeah, so th that guy counted as your main card play. Okay. Um, you do get a free play of a universal personnel. So that's anybody with a cut up diamond in front of their name. Um, cut up diamond. No, these are all not cut up diamonds. Um, there's a couple. There's you've got um, this new guy you just drew. I can't read his name. I think it's, is it Humbert or Hubert on the left there? Yeah. Herbert. Yeah, Herbert. <laughs> um, I think also the guy, the third one in the blue uniform. Oh, is um, the cut up Martin. diamond next to the met like the medical box, that little diamond there? Yeah, it's in the it's in there. It's the yeah, it's it's next to their name uh, in the top of the card. Okay. So yeah. All right, I will oh. play this guy. Should I just probably play him on my little? Yeah, outpost? play him on the outpost. Yeah. Okay. And then. And, yep. And that he would he's not going to give you another card drive, even though he does have less than four skill dots, four mm -hmm. four fewer skill dots, because you already got that only once per turn. <clears throat> um, okay. So that probably is all you can do this turn. Okay. And just go ahead and draw it in your turn. Okay. Draw is right up here. Mm -hmm. All right. Your okay. turn. All right. Um, so on this, there's no formal like um, <clears throat> like end of turn like you know. There's no formal transition, right? It just sort of. Um, there's a little button you can press that I just pressed for you. That that on the see so if you look at um, under the the big blown up picture of the card, my name and your name. Oh, you have uh, like a little, blue telephone. The, the right that that little arrow will actually move the turns back and forth. Okay, got it. So now it says turn two, Steve's turn. I just did that for myself. But you can okay. I'll cool. throw it back to you at the, at the end. Okay. So I'm going to do another thing here. Attention all hands says once per game in place of your normal card play, you may download a universal next generation ship to your matching outpost. So I have no ships in my hand. I'm going to need a ship. So I'm going to go ahead and download, which means search my deck and take a card, kind of like tutoring and magic or whatever. So I'm going to go to my deck, deck tab. I'm going to take a look and find a ship, a universal ship. I'm going to download. So it's going to go, a download goes straight to um, the table anywhere that could normally report. So I'm going to report what we report is what we call playing ships and personnels. I'm going to report the IKC cavort for duty at the Klingon outpost. It's a universal ship. So it bears the name of the ship's class, a cavort class ship. It's going to call it the IKS cavort. And it's got, uh, yeah, a little cut-up diamond in front of its name. So that'll be my normal card play. I'll go ahead and uh, uh, shuffle my deck up and go back to my hand. And I can still play one universal personnel for free using, um, also using uh, attention all hands. By the way, that ship download is a once-per-game thing. Okay. Uh, I'll play Zegov, uh, universal personnel. She has four or less skill dots. It'll trigger continuing mission. Draw a card for that. Um, and, you know, because we're not going to be playing all, all day here, I'm going to go ahead and just show what a mission attempt might look like. I'm going to move um, all these personnel onto my Cavort class ship. Uh, so I've got five personnel right now. Okay. Uh, put them all on board. And there's a way in, in, in Lackey you can kind of keep your ship tidy and because uh, technically your opponent is not entitled to look through your ship's crew. So I'm going to put a little marker on my ship, call it like uh, ship one, and put these guys in the crew one tab just to keep things a little tidier. Um, and I'm going to go attempt a mission, I think. Let's okay, see. let's do it. Uh, what's reasonable? I'm not even sure if I can actually accomplish anything. Let's take a look. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, so yeah, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and yeah. Mm -hmm. So the planets that are oriented towards me are my planets, or my, mm -hmm. the planets I put down. So these ones, and then the ones that are oriented towards Steve are his. That's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna move the cavort um, one uh, <laughs> back. You know what? I'm sorry. We we made one one error instead of I just realized. Uh, your Federation outpost is built on a mission that does, that, that, it's, it's my mission, and it also does not have a Federation icon on it. Um, mm. So that would actually not be allowed. So why don't we just go ahead and slide that Federation outpost and all those personnel 
one to, I guess, your left over to the botanical research mission. That's better. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I had my Cavort class ship uh, go to warp speed and move over to impose order, pre unified world, uh, unified diverse nation states via coercion and occupation. Sounds like something the Klingons would do. Uh, rotate back. Okay. And I'm going to beam down the entire crew. And you can so, all just do this in one turn. There's not like a move phase, beam down phase. Um, right. So you have three phases. You have the play phase, when I played all my personnel. You have the execute orders phase, which is where you do everything else, basically. And then you have a draw phase. Now, you are limited in the number of things you can do based upon a couple factors. One is that the Cavort class ship only has a range of eight. So mm -hmm. I can only move eight span of missions. So this mission had a span of four, this impose order. So I can get there. If I wanted to go further, I couldn't get that much further. Because I could get, like, the next one has a span of two. So I could get there, but I couldn't get any farther. Because then that would be, like, four plus two plus three would be nine. So it would be too okay. much. That, that dictates how far the ship can go. And your personal can keep doing things until they're stopped, as we will see. So I'm beaming, I'm going to beam everybody down. Uh, so we'll just consider them, or they're all on the planet here. And I'm going to go ahead and attempt the mission. So to do okay. that... I'm going to slide this over and go ahead and flip up the top dilemma there. Let's see what I'm facing. So when you attempt a mission, you form an away team. I said that the entire crew is going to be the away team, and no one's going to be on that ship now. And uh, they're all going to see what, what's, what's down that planet, what hijinks are in store for them. So you the hijinks that I have planned. Those are I, the dilemmas that you planned earlier, yes. Dilemmas. So are you going to flip this over? Or how does that, that work? So, yeah, typically your opponent does it. So yeah, go, go you go ahead and flip it up. All right, so I go... Because it says things on the, on the dilemma like your opponent's crew, whatever, that means mine. Okay, so we have a subspace shockwave. Um, ooh, ooh, I think we may have made a little error here. This is a space-only uh, uh, dilemma. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, uh, because I don't have a... The ship is not attempting the mission that the away team is. Hmm. Um, can we look at what the next dilemma is, just out of curiosity? Is it also space? Do we, do we make a mistake here? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, let's do this. Um, we're going to do a, <laughs> make a little runtime retroactive retcon here. Um, look on. Can you look under the dilemmas that are under the space mission that says Amnesty Talks? Are those space or are those planet? This one. Um... That's either. Okay, great. Let's just swap, do a real-time swap of these, okay. of these dilemma piles. Yeah, go ahead and flip, flip the top one down on each of those and just swap those piles. Okay, flip, flip, just moving this. So this is learning, a learning, friendly learning game. Doing here. Yeah, lots of mistakes were made. Okay, but that's all good. Pretend that didn't happen. We'll edit that, we'll edit that out in post-production, I'm sure. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, so we got some Antedan assassins here. So to get past this dilemma, one anthropology, so there's a personnel with an anthropology skill, or one empathy personnel, opponent's choice, meaning your choice, actually. I, 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 I'm reading it, so it's, yeah, it's your choice, must be stopped. Nullify the dilemma with a personnel who has either two anthropology or two empathy. Okay. Okay. So... Um, Right. So look, let's look at, let's see, do I even have any anthropology or, um, or empathy personnel here? I think the answer is no. Yeah. So you got, um, so yeah, I don't have anybody with anthropology or empathy. So that is a straight up wall because to get past it, I must have, I don't have it. So that's that. So that they're flipped down. That is then flipped that back down. And it's going to okay. wait for me in the future. And all of my personnel there are stopped because they could not get past it. Okay. And they're now just sitting on the planet doing nothing for the rest of the turn. I have no more people, so I might as well just draw it in my turn. So now I'm thinking about, like, how am I going to get past this? I'm going to need anthropology um, and empathy personnel. Mm. Okay. Um, so I'll think about how to do it with my next turn. Let's flip back to you, uh, Matt. Okay, so I think I'm going to play a ship with using what was the mechanic you used here? 
You don't need to do that because uh, you have ships in your hand, I believe. So yes. I use I used attentional hands to download a ship in place of my card play. Uh, okay. But you're just going to play it with your card play. You use this over Earth. Okay. Earth class starship. These guys are all going on there. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that works, but uh... yeah, um, if you're if and you you're gonna get one more play most likely. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my ship. <laughs> it's it's uh it's right somewhere. Here. Yeah, there it is. Um, right, right click, rotate back. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to put all these guys on the ship. Great. Um, now, you, before you execute orders, you still have I, most likely one more play you can do because you can play a universal personnel for free uh, using attentional hands. So I see Herbert, um, some guy named, I think this is, is Daniel Kwan or. Daniel Kwan, yes. Daniel Kwan, yeah. So I could play him for free, and then I get to draw a card, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, now that I'm, I'm, you know, I, I've been learning Korean lately. I know that he is. Uh, his last name is Korean, but apparently he's also partially an alien too. It looks like. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a good, good combination. Yeah. Um, do you know how I put these guys in the ship without covering the ship up? How um, I no. I mean, what I do is I put them into one of these tabs here. I. Um. um Okay. I, I, I put them all into crew one, uh, I think. Uh, and by the way, did you draw? You got you got a free card draw off of uh, yep. Daniel Kwan. You got that? Okay. Good. Yep. Okay. I did. So these guys are all with this. Yeah, I, I would drag all those personnel and put them into your crew one tab. Just to keep um, clean. Is that down? Yep, oh, right there. Right there. Crew yep. one. I think your outpost actually went along with it, so maybe grab that outpost back out. Okay. Yeah. It's here, but, and then this yeah. is. I can just maybe move like a little. Yeah, yeah, uh, you right click and put a, uh, a marker on it. I think. Uh, uh, right click on that Oberth class starship, and put a marker on it. Yellow token one. Okay, cool. Yeah, there you go. Now it's that's cleaner. I cleaned up. All right, so now I'm going to move. Let's see. Yeah, if you want to try a mission, you can do it as well. So can I move here? Um, let's see. How? What is the span of those? Uh, that is. Where's uh, three, um, Look at your mission in the center, bottom. So Amstocks is a span of three, and Salvage Borg ship also three. It's gonna be six range, and yeah, you have a six range, so you can do it. Okay, awesome. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and try this out. So let's do a mission. I guess I'll send my whole crew here, yeah. because why not? Yeah. All right, so I'll let you make the reveal here. Sure. Okay, we're gonna start with. A flim flam artist. Now, just mm -hmm. to be clear, um, you, the the you, you you beamed your entire crew down as an away team. So, if it's it's space dilemma, your your ship and the crew together are encountering things. Mm -hmm. If it's a uh, sorry space mission, if it's a planet mission, the away team comes down and they're not on the ship. That can matter because like if somebody get trapped down there or some people get killed, you might not be able to get back to the ship. Just to be aware. Okay, flim flam artist. Your opponent may immediately draw a card. Okay, cool. I'll draw a card. Um, yeah, so you actually you're reading this because it says opponent, it's me. Yeah, so your opponent may immediately draw a card to get past this requires diplomacy and computer skill two or law mm -hmm. and cunning. So let's see here. Do I have diplomacy and computer skill? I have science, computer skill. So does that mean it's computer skill one? Yeah, you need two computer skills, either on one personnel or on multiple personnel. Mm, I don't think I'm going to have this. Okay. So I am stopped. And you also need diplomacy, is that right? Diplomacy. Was uh, it diplomacy and two computer skill? Yeah, I don't think I have any of those. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So now you know what you're looking for for that mission. Okay. All right, so that goes back down. Okay. To be encountered later. And just like me, your away team is stopped. Okay. And then I think that's all for me then. Yep, you draw a card and in your turn. Okay. Where's draw a card at? Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Now I now I also have a similar situation. I'm looking for, um, as I recall, anthropology or empathy. I need two anthropology to. Okay. So here's how this works. Um. um with one anthropology. I would, I would, I would have that person get stopped. Uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. I'll, I'll just um, play it and show this works. Um, 
I'm going to play <laughs> Basomg uh, as my universal personnel, uh, which will with uh, that's for free, playing to my outpost. And he has four do skill dots or less, so I'll trigger card draw with a ten uh, with a continuing mission. Okay. And my main play will be Jean Luc Picard. Okay. A continuing committee made a like an off culture, a, a like a Klingon affiliation version of him, mm. which is fun. Uh, I played as my main card play, my official card play, because he has more than four skills, including a download. All right, so move to execute orders. Um, I'm going to move this uh, bird of prey back and pick up these guys. And I'm going to put them on into my crew one. I expended a range of three because reported activity is a range of three. I'm going to fly back to impose order, uh, spending a, span, a range of four, seven total. That works because I have a range of eight. And I think, uh, Matt, just for timing, maybe we play till one person solves a mission. Does that sound good to you? That sounds good. That might happen this turn. might take a one, or one, one more turn or two. So sure. it'll probably get us about 30 minutes in the video. And okay. That covers most of the mechanics of the game, I think. Okay, that sounds great. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and beam that entire away team down again. All right, I'm going to move. And I'll attempt to impose order, yep. Flip. Okay, to get past one anthropology or an empathy personnel opponent's choice as we stopped nullify with a personnel who has either two anthropology or two empathy so if i had somebody with two anthropology or two empathy it would just like get rid of this dilemma right now but i don't so instead i'm going to show you an anthropology or empathy personnel i'm going to show you all the ones i have mm -hmm. and you can choose one of them to be stopped now i've only got one person with either anthropology or empathy empathy by the way is this game's term for like mind reading and telepathy anyway um, Picard has anthropology, so he will be uh, stopped. Okay. He's the only one I've got, so I'll rotate the card to show he's stopped. Okay. Um, and this, and I'm past this dilemma, so um, yeah, right. that dilemma can be put into the removed tab. Dilemmas are not discarded; they are removed from the game. So just okay. drag that to your like removed tab. It's hand, deck, discard, removed. Uh, here we go. All right. Yeah, All right. let's go. I'm, I'm moving on. Moving on. All linguistic right. ledger domain. Okay. So unless anthropology and exobiology present, um, <laughs> X equals one plus the number of affiliation icons on this mission with no matching personnel present. Uh, wait, wait. Icons it on cannot this mission. be attempted. Uh, and it can't be attempted that, that long. Okay. First of all, do I have anthropology and exobiology? Well, no, because... I do have some exobiology, but anthropology I don't have since you stopped the card. And that's why the, the designer of this deck put this in a combo, because usually you, you often only have one person with anthropology. It filtered that person out. That's called mm -hmm. like a filtering dilemma. And this wall is going to be hit, hit me now that I don't have anthropology. All right. So how many turns am I going to be unable to attempt this mission? Um, well, it's X equals one plus the number of affiliation icons have no matching personnel. So this mission has four affiliation icons, Romulan, Klingon, Cardassian, Dominion. And I've <laughs> only got Klingon personnel here. It's going to be three plus one, so four. So this is going to be a countdown of four. That like that. So for four turns counting down, I uh, will not be able to attempt it. So I put a four countdown marker on this. Well, there goes finishing this game this turn. Perfect. Well, yeah, not this turn. I'll, I'll probably try to go to a different a different mission, I guess. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so this is going to flip back down. So this word unless um, means I'm stopped. And mm. it doesn't say the dilemma is... So the dilemma will, will auto-discard. Um, it's going to go on top of this mission. It's going to auto-discard in four turn, four of your turns. Okay. Which might be, you know, a little while. Um Okay. So this one. Um, and that's going to basically be it for my turn. I'm going to go ahead and draw a card and, and end my turn and pass back to you. Okay. So I am going to, I guess I'll deploy this guy. For, wait, do I already have him out? No. Is there. Um, oh, because you're looking at your crew right now. Go back to your hand tab. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at my. Oh, ah, okay. There we are. Um, hmm. 
Okay, so I guess uh, this is just uh, not super. Do you remember what you needed uh, for that dilemma? That was uh... <laughs> to be honest, I don't. <laughs> why don't we? Why don't we peek at it? Because we're playing a training friendly game and remind ourselves what that was about. Okay. It I often like, like use paper to write it down, but yeah, you need diplomacy and two computer skill. I remember okay. you have one computer skill. Um, so I could do data. I think yeah, you have data in your hand. Data and wharf. I, wharf is a diplomacy. Mm -hmm. right? Okay, so. Nice. I'm gonna do. I have to deploy them to the Federation base or whatever, right? Federation outpost. That's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, okay. So I'm just deployed Worf, who has two honor navigation and diplomacy, and he has less than four four less skill dots. So it'll trigger a uh, a card draw. Okay. Uh, so I get to draw, and then yeah. oh, we got a card there. Nice. Um, so I can't play him this turn, though, can I? No, because all you have left available to you is a universal free play. Um, I see Herbert. Oh, wait, wait let's, let's play your universal guy before we move the shift. I see Herbert and I see Lopez. Okay, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do Herbert here. Yeah, okay, great. All right, and then I can move this back as my universal yep. free move, and then I will <laughs> add these two guys to uh, my crew. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, one thing you could do right now is your ship's range is exhausted, but... Uh, you are at a mission that is your own mission, this mm -hmm. botanical research. You could just, you know, give it a shot and see what's down there. All right, let's do it. All right. And we're assuming you're using your entire away team. The entire crew is yep, going to be the away team. All right. All right, let's flip it. I'll flip it up for you and see what we got. All right, okay, so primitive, we... primitive culture. To get past requires three Vulcans or anthropology and civilian or, okay. Okay, so another a good wall dilemma here. Um, I don't think you have three Vulcans in that, in that away team. I, uh, you're not playing Dominions. You don't have the, I think you have the second one. You may have the second one. The other ones are, are for other affiliations like Jemadar for and Vorda for Dominion, Tal Shiar for Romulan. Okay. Six Klingons. No. So I think anthropology and civilian is the only one that you're going to be able to. Yeah. I don't choose. think I have civilian. I have anthropology, but I do not. Wait, do I have Yeah. Anthropology? Do you have any civilians in your hand available to you for next turn? You can take a um, look. See here, Actually, Civil civilian will be in the in the uh, the box, the uh, classification box in the center. And I do see that this this uh, is actually this non-aligned Klingon dual personnel. I believe he's a civilian. Oh, I see. I also uh, believe he is uh, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, the actor. <laughs> oh, the the, the, the player uh, acting as that Klingon. Okay. Yeah, I don't actually realize I don't have an anthropology either, so I'd, I'd need both. Okay, so uh, okay. I don't think I can do it then. So I think it's the end of my turn, right? So I get yep. to draw a card. Yep. And that's all. Okay, back over to me then. Um, okay, so Picard is no longer stopped. Um, and what are we going to do? Okay, okay. So I can't accomplish that mission for a while, I think. Um, let's go ahead and... All right, I'm going to play a universal personnel, Losta, um, for free. And then I'm going to look for somebody with four or less dots, skill dots. Um, and I'm going to go with Chorus. He'll give me a card draw off of that. All right, mm -hmm. move this ship back. Um, oh, and, and by the way, this countdown went down by one at the end of your last turn. So oh, it doesn't do it automatically? That's... Nope. There's nothing is automated in this program. <laughs> it's just okay. a virtual desktop. That's good to know. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I'm going to put everybody aboard. Yeah, this is going to be the whole crew will be the away team here. Now, when you're playing like a competitive game, you probably don't want to do that. You probably want to keep some people on the ship, hold some people back, form separate away teams. If you want to like, some people try to like punch through the dilemmas with a like a dummy away team and then bring the real people that have the skills at the end to accomplish the mission. There's all kinds of things you can do. We're just kind of like trying out the rules here a little bit. So, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and attempt a reported activity. Flip that top dilemma, see what we got. Okay. So, a lack of preparation. All right. So ignore the part that says Borg at the bottom. I'm not playing Borg. And read, read the non-Borg part. Uh, an away team that is... Unex no, wait. Uh, oh, I see. Can I get past 
lose 10 points unless yeah. you could have met mission requirements at start of attempt. Okay, so this is inten uh, uh, this dilemma is intended to prevent the thing I was just mentioning. A strategy is called red shirting, where you bring down like um, lame personnel who you don't need to like try to like get sucked into the dilemmas and killed or whatever, and then bring mm -hmm. your real away team later with the skills. Because this will straight up make you lose 10 points if you do that. Okay. Uh, but let's see, could I have accomplished the mission at the beginning of the turn? Let's find out. I'm uh, beginning of the attempt. Navigation and two honors, the first one. Let's see, I've got navigation on Losta, honor on Chorus, honor on Picard. Uh, so yeah, I could have accomplished it. So okay. I do not lose 10 points and I'm past that dilemma. So let's okay. get lack of preparation out of here. Removed. So you have to show your opponent personnel to, to meet dilemma requirements or, or mission requirements. All right, All right. The next dilemma. Chula the Chandra. All right, this is a fun, fun episode of Deep Space Nine where they're all in a board game being silly. Um, uh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Viewers uh, out there, YouTube this and watch the uh, the the clip of the guitar cast singing the little song that is in the flavor text here. It's very funny. <laughs> one all person right. random selection continues along with all crew or away members who have at least one attribute number matching that personnel. Others are stopped. Okay. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull one, uh, I'm gonna shuffle these up, and I'm going to, uh, yeah, I think, go ahead and click on, this is a little slightly tricky, but you see where, um, where's it, you know, hand, deck, discard, removed, all that stuff there. You're gonna go, you're gonna switch players to me so you can pull one person randomly from my crew. For my okay, so I'm sorry, how so do I do the, this? this is, yeah, you see where it says the word hand, the hand tab, your hand uh, tab? Uh, is hand. Your, is your, yeah, right to the left of that, there's an arrow. Go to that arrow and, uh, and it's going to switch to the next player. Click that. Okay. okay. Now click on my crew one tab. Okay, crew one. This is my crew and just pull one person randomly out of there. All right. Oh, I see it. You drag to the table. There we go. Okay, that's the random selection. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Uh, all right. So anybody with, so this is saying that anyone with an attribute matching. So he, okay. So no, no, this person continues along with everyone else who has an attribute matching. Well, attribute number match. Okay. I see. So anyone with an integrity of five, a cunning of eight, or strength of seven comes along. Mm. I think that's what this means. Okay, so anybody with an, uh, with an integrity of five comes along? Uh, no one, okay. Anybody with a cunning of eight comes along? Uh, no one. Anybody with a strength of seven? Yeah, okay, so he comes along. Uh, he, go, oh, rotate back. He comes along. All right. So it's a, it's a filter. So what was interesting is that's like it's going to stop everybody but these three personnel. Okay. Um, so it's filtering down into a, into a much smaller away team. But uh, I am past this dilemma, and you can you go ahead and, and discard that. Okay. Putting it so let's see. What is the deck designer going to throw at me last? It's probably going to be something kind of, some kind of wall that's going to make it really hard. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Ah. Friendly fire, unless two leadership and two security present, kills one personnel random selection. Place on this mission, it cannot be attempted or scouted for two turns. All right. So uh, because it, we filtered down to a smaller team, uh, unlikely I'm going to have two leadership and two security, and you can see I don't. So one of these personnel is going to be killed now. Random selection. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to drag these into a tab, uh, these person to a tab, and you can randomly pull one. So I put them in the crew two tab. Uh, go ahead and pull one of them out. Okay, let's pull this guy. Okay. Shot, all right. All right, he's, he's dead. Uh, I'll go ahead and put in my discard pile. And now everybody's stopped here. So I'll move these people back to crew one. Everyone stopped, and this is going to go on top of the mission for two turns. It's a two-turn cannot be attempted. So that's also locked down for two turns. 
but there's no more dilemmas under it. So I know I'll be able to complete that in two turns. And that's all I can do. I will draw a card in my turn, pass back to you. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. Um, I guess I will put this guy out. Can I put him right yep. on the ship? Nope, it has to go to your outpost, but it's the same, same place. Okay, and then I'm going to put him on my ship. It's getting quite crowded. Mm -hmm. so he has, I still don't have civilian. Oh, this is supposed to not flip back over, I guess. Right? Yeah, well, did he have anthropology? Who was he that has guy? anthropology, but I still don't have Great. civilian. I well, know. that was a freebie free because he was universal, I think, right? Oh, that's right, yeah. Um, and then bring out Taral as your card play, and you should be good to go. Okay, let's do this. we got a huge crew here. And I All think right, you so get one draw, card draw probably triggering off of uh, that guy with four or fewer skills. Yep. Okay. Okay. So we're going to attempt this mission here. Yep. So it requires anthropology and civilian. I and have primitive culture. You've got it. I saw them. So we'll go ahead and discard that one. I'll remove okay. it. Okay. Let's see what the next one is. is. Uh, so history repeats itself. Okay. Randomly select like three personnel or six personnel if more than nine present. If any of those personnel has anthropology, all of them are stopped. Okay, and I know okay. you got some anthropology in there because of the previous dilemma. Okay, so I think okay. uh, if you have, I only have nine. of exactly nine, so you're going to pick three of the nine, I think, right? Because it, it said more than six, as so it said, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, if more, if more than, than nine. Okay, yeah. right. So. Okay. So all right, all... I'm going to go into your tab, crew one tab, and okay. randomly pull somebody. Okay. Uh, no anthropology there. Oh, so it's three. Okay, yeah, three group. Uh, nope, and no. Okay, right. so no anthropology. If any of these three personnel is anthropology, all of them are stopped. Okay, so I think we're this is removed, right? Did we pass? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. So let's see the last one here. Maybe I'll be the first one to actually get a mission. So are these guys all uh, they actually, th these are not even stopped, I don't think. So these, yeah, these people just go back. These people are good to go. Yeah. yeah let me add them back to my. Yeah, I throw, I throw them back in there. Okay. Oh, okay. And yeah, let's get rid of that. Um, and let's go to the last one. Okay. Uh, hang on. Let me let me remove this dilemma. Okay. And the last one here. Last one is unorthodox preservation. To get past requires two anthropology, or a personnel with officer and empathy or a staffed ship with a holodeck here. Okay, well, we can scratch off that last one because the ship is not staffed because you'd be everybody down and it has no holodeck. Because it says if you look at the ship, it has a, a tractor beam listed in, in its special equipment box, but no holodeck. All right, so that's fine. Um, so you said two anthropology? Yeah, looking for two anthropology or a single person with officer and empathy. Uh, I have empathy on an engineer, which is, I've not found that to be the case. <laughs> I think I know who is your officer of empathy, and her name is Deanna Troy. And I think uh, she's in your hand, but not in your crew. I think I only have one anthropology, so I think I can't crack this. Uh, take a closer look. Uh, Seth Mendoza is your anthropology personnel. Is he the only one? Uh, I think so. Anthropology, da -da, diplomacy, science, mm -hmm. computer skill, empathy. Oh, no, that's the engineer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're, you're going to be stopped, but you're very, very close. Uh, because I think you'll be able to complete next uh, this mission next turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I can see her. So you, got, you should make sure if you actually have the, the requirements of the mission. I think you do. You have science, medical, and kind of greater than 35, probably so. Oh, yeah. That's something to keep in mind, the, the general... Um... Yeah, I saw Alyssa Ogawa in your hand for medical... I think I saw science and you have enough people you probably have cutting over 35. But anyway, that's probably all you can do now and you're stopped there. Okay. Let's it's see like to get passed turn. on it. So yeah, I'll go ahead and draw your card in your turn. Okay. And I'll see if I can accomplish the mission first. I'm not so sure. So these all count down by one. So boop, boop, okay. Um, <laughs> I really want to accomplish a mission. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Okay, let's see here. Can I go over? Can I go this far? Four, two, it's too far. So I think this is going to have to be our last turn here because we're definitely, getting... yeah, we're getting. Uh, you know, I actually can't get to, to solve a mission. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to play a couple people. Just uh, play Duras, 
and then I'll play uh, Kupta, um, and then well, that's the wrong thing. I want to play Duras. Uh, okay, uh, Kupta is four skill dots or less. Trigger card draw. These people will come into my crew, and probably if I was playing this for real, I would just like camp out and wait for these countdowns to be done. Mm -hmm. But in any case, uh, let's. Uh, I'll say it's your turn. Why don't we flip back to you, and you can go ahead and uh, solve that mission. Okay, so I'm going to deploy her to the, the post, and then mm -hmm. she's getting on the ship. Yep. Uh, she doesn't even need to go on the ship, actually, because um, the people are all on the planet's surface. So she oh. can just, like, walk out of the outpost, I guess. Okay. So um, she joined the crew. Mm -hmm. She joined the crew. Yep. She's uh, as officer in empathy, I believe. Yep. So but she also has two. I now have two anthropologies. So I think this is going to be. Yeah, done. you punch through that uh, historic preservation, or orthodox preservation. And mm -hmm. then all you need to do is show that you have um, the skills. So show science, medical, and cutting grade in 35. Okay, so let's see here. Science, medical. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Where would, where's like medical at? Yeah, um, so you, a medical can be either a, a classification or a skill. So look at Alyssa Ogawa, the, the one skill um, character there. So she yeah. has medical in her classification box. Okay. So she's going to give you your medical. And then science, I think you have a few people. This yeah. Dr. Christopher guy. Yeah, he's got yeah. actually double science. Science in his classification and okay. science is a skill. There's, okay. And um, you know what? I, I, I think you've got enough people that you have cunning over 35. So I'm not going to make you do the math right now. Okay. So that's going to give you, um, just to show points work, it's going to give you 30 points. Okay. Um, it's actually going to give you bonus points also because this card assign mission specialists that mm. lets you play those two people with one skill each for free at the beginning of the game. It's also going to give you five points whenever a mission specialist, a person with one skill only, uses that skill to solve a mission. So that guy with science is his single skill. He is going to give you five extra points. So that'll be okay. kind of a 35 pointer. And just to show how points work, you just click in the point box under your name on the left side of the screen and give mm -hmm. yourself uh, those those 35 points. So I will add in, let's see here, this is awkward, I guess. You can just type there, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. I've done. Uh, yep. Well, actually, it didn't, didn't go. I think you have to click 6 set to 35, but in any uh, case. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I think we just completed our first mission. I just got my first did. So this game would end when everything is there a point number you're you're trying to read? Yeah, you're shooting for a hundred points. Okay. And under the current modern format rules of the game, um, those hundred points have to be from one space mission and one planet mission. Okay. Otherwise, you need to get to 140. Um, okay. But most people go for a hundred point win with one try to get at least one planet, one space. Okay. Well, this this is a lot of fun, Steve. Thanks, thanks for sitting down and hopefully yeah. it shows a little bit more of how this game works and mm -hmm. you know. This doesn't have to be uh, complicated. I think it is a little more time consuming than many other you know games, but yeah, sometimes a nice kind of board game mess experience is nice. A little more time together to, to figure stuff out. Yeah. So uh, happy to hear people's thoughts on this, what we did wrong. I'm sure there's a bunch of mistakes mm -hmm. in there, but uh, thanks for tuning in everybody. And thanks Steve for, for hosting this. Absolutely. All right. Bye.